हेलो एवरीवन नमस्कार आई एम डॉक्टर प्रोफेसर मनमोहन मेहंदी रत्ता सीनियर डायरेक्टर एंड सीनियर कंसल्टेंट न्यूरोलॉजी एट बी एल के मैक्स न्यू डेली आई स्पीकिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू इन द कैपेसिटी एज प्रेसिडेंट इंडियन एपिलेप्सी सोसाइटी इमीडिएट पास प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडियन एपिलेप्सी एसोसिएशन एंड वाइस प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ साउथ ईस्ट एशिया इंटरनेशनल ब्यूरो फॉर एपिलेप्सी epilepsy is a common disorder it's a neurological disorder and not a mental disorder world over there are around 50 million people in indian language i'll say 5 crores and in our country there are if there are around 130 crore people then there are approximately 1.3 crore persons suffering from epilepsy we don't call it as patient we say person we equate them like any other ordinary individual now finding out how common it is it's often believed this is because of something from outside a curse of nature no this is a neurological disorder in which the discharges in the brain increase for the short time and then seizure occurs there are of many types this can occur across all age groups from newborn to elderly causes are different the main stay of treatment is medication there are around 22 medicines available before 1990 there were only 8 medicines available recently there had been addition to the therapeutic armamentarium of treatment for the neurologist whenever you have this problem please go and consult the neurologist there are a lot of myths and facts about this disease that it is caused from outside it is a curse it occurs in family it can happen from one person to the other people with epilepsy can't marry people with epilepsy can't go to school all these are myths facts are reverse of it that you can do all this big persons like napoleon bonaparte Sikandar the Great, which we in our Indian language know, Sikandar the Mahan, उनको भी epilepsy थी and they all achieved greater heights. That's why I said we say people with epilepsy. So whenever anybody has, there are certain investigations and very good treatment available. Most of these epileptic fits or what we call seizures get all right. with medication it's only in small percentage 20 to 30% that surgery may be required in our institute we have all the facilities available like eeg mri long term video eeg and surgery so i wish nobody should have this but if somebody has this phenomena do consult a neurologist and a epileptologist so my sincere request is when you have go to the expert and we are available at your service all the time thank you so much